Hey guys, today I'm going to walk you through the steps to knit a 2x2 two two ribbed v-neck collar. The result will give you a nice clean finish to your project. I'll be using a current work in progress of mine that I've been knitting up to demonstrate this technique. What I'm working on is a simple v-neck sweater constructed in my favorite way to knit a v-neck, which I've actually made a video about before and I will leave a link to that in the description. So this top, what I'm working with is Noro Garden Silk sock weight yarn in the 01 colorway, which I've been having honestly the hardest time photographing. It was producing some really muddy colors. Um, I think it's the lighting, but finally, I finally got the right lighting to capture all of the colors in this fabric. So you can see the beautiful pastels, the really deep, rich colors. I'm having so much fun working it up. I know I mentioned before that I can't decide if I love it or hate it. And I think now that I'm starting to progress in this project, I'm really loving it. So for this particular sweater, I want a deep V-neck. So I made sure to knit plenty of rows and increases using the method that I mentioned before. It's important to keep in mind that adding a V-neck collar will pull the opening inwards slightly, which might result in a smaller neck opening than you were imagining. So just adjust accordingly. For this project, you'll need a pair of circular needles. I'm using 4.5 millimeter needles, a couple of stitch markers, scissors, and a darning needle to sew in your ends. To get started, mark the center back of your v-neck. This will help remind you the start of each round. Then grab your pair of circular needles and pick up stitches along the neckline. To do this, you identify the V-shapes in the stitches along the opening. So at the back, you'll see that they are right side facing up. Insert your needle through the V-shape and make a loop at the end of your working yarn, placing it over your needle and pulling back through. You've just made one stitch. Check to make sure that you leave a tail long enough so that you won't accidentally drop any stitches as you go. Continue picking up every stitch along the edge, paying close attention that you're evenly picking up stitches on the same row. Once you've picked up stitches all the way around, do a quick count to make sure that you have a number of stitches divisible by four. In this way, you'll be sure that the two by two rib pattern will be even. This time around, I picked up 164 stitches, which lucky for me was divisible by four, so I was good to go. We wanna make sure that at the centermost point of the V-neck, we have two stockinette stitches. I recommend counting backwards starting from the center to know what stitch you'll need to use at the very beginning of the round. For example, I needed to work two purl stitches at the very start to make sure that I achieved the two stockinette stitches at the very center. Once you know how to get started, work two rounds of two by two rib without making any decreases. On the third round, it's time to make our first set of decreases to shape the neckline. Knit until one stitch before your two center stitches. If you have any stitch markers on the needle between these points, I suggest removing them. And if you can, hook a stitch marker on a stitch a couple of rows below. We are going to make two sets of decreases at the center. With one stitch before the center knit stitch, knit two together. Take your right needle and insert it between the two stitches and knit. You have made one decrease at the right side. Next, we're going to SSK which if you're familiar with the abbreviation means slip, slip, knit. So you slip the next two stitches and insert your left needle to the front and knit the stitches together. You have made one decrease at the left side. Knit in two by two rib until the end of the round. And we're going to repeat those steps at the center of every round that we do thereafter. So 
So again, work until you have one stitch before your center point. Knit two stitches together. Then slip the next two stitches on the needle and insert your left needle at the front. Knit both stitches together. Each round you will decrease two stitches, creating a nice V-shape at the center of the neckline. When you've reached the number of rows desired, cast off and rib. And now you have a 2x2 two two ribbed v-neck collar. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed or maybe learned a thing or two in this video um, for hopefully one day when you make v-necks because I think everybody should have a v-neck in their wardrobe. I personally love v-neck sweaters and this two by two rib detail I think looks really great. This video was also great because it was a good way for me to show off my current work in progress, which is something I'm so proud of right now. Um, and I'm just so excited with how nicely. You can see the colors now in this yarn. I'm finally able to capture it properly. So yeah, I'm not crazy. This is beautiful, no? This yarn is so much fun. So I'm really happy to be working on this project, experimenting with variegated yarns um, and a lot of color too, which is something that's normally outside of my comfort zone. So a lot of great things happening with this project. But um, as far as tutorials go, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. I started the channel sharing tutorials on techniques that were in my patterns, and I will continue to do so as I hopefully release new patterns in the future. Um, that being said, if there's anything in particular you are interested in learning, if I can create a tutorial for that, I will be open to any ideas in the comments down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments, so um, thanks for leaving a comment. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing for more DIY and knitting content like this. Um, so I will see you guys next week and until then, 